Hey YouTube, i here. Uh, just gonna do a uh, kind of a video as to what all's going on. Gonna give some shout outs and some thoughts uh, as far as this uh, Dixon build. Um, don't let the chain uh, popping off bother you. Uh, I'll get it squared away. I, I pretty much have it taken care of in my head, and that's a terrible place to be. Um, but uh, I talked with Richard Downer uh, back and forth last night. Uh, thank you very much, Richard, for your input. I really appreciate it, man. The last time I messed with chains, I was 20, uh, and I'm 44 now. So, um, a lot of stuff I just don't remember uh, or, or drank it away. But before we do it, end it, anything else, um, spin you around. Let's give some shout outs to some people that have subscribed. As always, guys, sulfurcitydesigns.com uh, for all of your off road mower mudding modding apparel and stickage i'm getting good at saying that now and southern off-road mowers on facebook go to it and post some junk or not but do look guys i made that page uh so uh the people uh who've subscribed to me and are my friends and everything if you have a video that you put on youtube post a link on there uh, that way you can get some subscribers and get some get some views and get some people watching it and get some activity Feel free to post whatever kind of crap you want to on there as far as the mower modding or mudding um, You know and, and other stuff too within reason, but please do and now Abdelaziz is El Rashid. Thank you for subscribing man. I really appreciate it. I hope I pronounced that correctly uh, Ryan Mraz Il I L L E S. So that makes a ye Mraz Yes. I hope I pronounced that correctly, man. Sorry. Um MM Customs, Dylan Crank, Rich Howard, Nico Martz. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Mr. Danny John, thank you. Red ZZ02 on the Google Plus. Dragon123456 on the Google Plus as well. And 68 Willinch. W I L L A N C H. And guys, as always, if there's some people you really don't like. Okay, guys, now sit back and I'm it. only slightly warmer, so I'm still crabby and bitchy. But uh, there's a couple other people I want to mention. Um, I did another video yesterday evening and I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I lost all the freaking data. Uh, the first video I did, it took about three hours, which is it's fine. It's okay. I'm goofing off in the afternoons. I don't watch TV. Uh, so I work out in my shop or go inside and hang out with my wife and the kids. Um, but I don't, I don't watch TV or sports or anything like that. So um, I love the video. And it craps out, load the video again, it craps out, load the video again. And I'm thinking at 9 o'clock last night, I finally got it loaded onto YouTube. And I don't know how long it took. Oh my God, it, it was an endeavor. Uh, and then uh, the second video, it just wasn't what I liked. But uh, these are the people that have subscribed in the past uh, afternoon. I just wanted to mention all you guys as well. Christian Hamilton. Man, I am sorry that they have not uh, given me any info about uh, you subscribing or anything like that, but I wanted to tell you thank you and apologize. It's YouTube. You know, what the hell. Uh, Abriana Castro, thank you very much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Gene Babine, hope I pronounced that right, man. I like it, though. Super 420 Psycho, thanks, man. Greg, G-R-E-G-R-E-Y, -E -E Ray, thank you, sir. And uh, Garrett Hamilton, thanks for subscribing, guys. Now, uh, we've got those taken care of. I was talking with uh, uh, Richard Downer yesterday evening, and I, I mentioned it briefly. And uh, what he had suggested, and, and it, it really rings true, is that these things are a forward and reverse uh, machine. And for them to go forward and reverse, they have to have tension one way if they were just going forward. If they were just going reverse, they would have to have tension going the other way because then the tension would be at the top and uh, the slack at the bottom and then 
the tension at the bottom and the slack at the top. So for a machine that goes that has the potential to go in both directions, I need to make sure it is tighter than Dick's hat band all the way around, which was not what I was doing on this uh, right side. On the left side I had, I'd taken out a half link and uh, really, really tighten this up. No problems there. So what we're going to do today, uh, if I don't freeze, is go ahead and get this thing out. We're going to take out maybe another half link. Um, I don't know. We're going to see. And we're going to really tighten this down and we're going to cut the spring and uh, that way it'll give it a we're going to stretch it and give it a little bit more tension i'm going to see how that works out guys before we go we're tearing out. into uh the the right side on this dixon which like i said nothing terrible won't be anything horrible we'll get it all squared away i want to show you this um and it's just interesting to me uh because i, I see a lot of stuff and I'm, i think i'm very fortunate uh in the industry that i'm in um, and I see a lot of junk and, and most people just don't get to see it who, who love machinery and stuff like this. This is a number 40 uh, Unilink. Okay, we all know what this is. And it is, <coughs> excuse me, um, three quarters of an inch. Now, I was out at a uh, underground mine today, a coal mine. And uh, one of the uh, millwrights was nice enough to give me an old Unilink that they had and I, I just thought that was just freaking sweet and I really appreciate it man thank you very much um, this is an old one they took out and replaced and it's worn um, this is off of a double roller chain uh, that brings the coal up out of the ground uh, on a belt and uh, then dumps it into two uh, drum shakers and it, it, it hence their name, drum shakers, a big drum, and it shakes the coal, separates it from the rock and everything. So that is a number 40. And like I said, it's three quarters of an inch. And this is um, the one uh, that they took off. There would be the uh, uh, the second, uh, where the second uh, set of teeth set. You can kind of see it, and then the other, and then the other. So that is just a monster and you have to have a hoist to put the chain on these things so it's just really interesting um so i will put that in my pile of junk that's really cool stuff so that's a number 40 and that is a number oh god four thousand okay guys now <laughs> uh, we are finished i got that damn half link put in and it is pretty snug it actually may be too tight. I I seem to recall reading there needs to be some amount of deflection, or at least that's what they tell me at my work. Um, so I can't push it in. Any. Um, there. That is a little bit better. But still, it is pretty freaking tight, but that is okay. We'll see. We're going to crank this thing up uh, tomorrow. Too late in the day. I'm freaking cold and tired. And uh, we'll get it squared away. It's just going to be a little matter of time. And um, I guess that's about it, guys. Y'all going to make some mayhem. Kids are going to be coming over this weekend. Uh, Mikey's coming over this weekend. So uh, maybe we'll get a chance to uh, let Mikey ride on kudzu. I'll get the tires put on. Oh,